Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray, DIY Ray's back in the house. Guys, thank you for joining me. I know it's been a long time since I posted something. Um, been doing a lot of construction in the house. As you can see behind me, my whole kitchen, uh, I call it great room, is gutted out. Now in putting it back together, all right? Um, in the middle of all, insulating the place, wiring the place. So those videos are coming up. Uh, pretty much basic stuff. Some of the basic stuff I'm just doing really shorts on for those DIY people who are looking at doing themselves a little information. So look for those shorts. Uh, the how-to videos are coming as I get to those projects. I will be posting those. And again, any questions, any comments, please hit me below. I'll try to get back to you to, uh, as fast as I can. Again, guys, thanks for supporting me. And consider like, subscribe, and enough of that sell pitch let's get into what this video is about guys as you know as you see my will walls are open so i could i said this is an ideal time for me to update my security system now i have the ring system and again this is no endorsement toward ring it's just something i when i was doing construction early on i decided to invest in and it's okay it's a decent, decent system but with the ring system of course you know you got to pay a yearly membership uh, for cloud storage for security footage. And again, it's not it's not killing me, but again, I figured while my walls are open, let me update my security system with a on-site DVR type of system. So I'm in the process, I'm searching for one. If you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments. So in doing that, I was looking at my doorbell. My ring doorbell was given to me as a Christmas gift by my girls. Thank you girls, uh, it's been working well. But I never did like the angle of it. And I'll show you some footage on how uh, that doorbell looks. And reason why how my luminous siding, or not luminous, my vital siding um, is constructed, it causes a pitch to raise that camera angle. And I could never really get a good coverage of the ground or the steps area in front of my house, especially when I'm getting packages from Amazon or anyone else. Uh, so to alleviate that, Went to my favorite store, of course, and I ended up picking up this, uh, what they call it, a wedge, I believe, a Video Doorbell Pro Wedge Kit, all right? Don't know if it's by Ring, it has a logo of Ring, but this one I ended up picking up for the Pro. So what I'm gonna do, we're just gonna open it up, we're gonna take a quick look at it. Again, I bought it for my own money, again, thanks to your guys' support. And I think it's gonna alleviate that problem of bringing that camera pitch down so I can have better coverage in front of my, my steps. And that's pretty much it. It's just simple video, how to. Um, if you guys are looking for products, something like this, please consider looking at this one. It may fit the bill if you have the Pro Series or something similar to it. And that's pretty much it. And just to let you know, guys, of course, anything I'm listing and showing, there will be affiliate links below. And if you click on those links, it does support this channel. Help me bring more content like this to you. And I definitely greatly, greatly appreciate it. So enough of me talking. Again, please like, subscribe. And speaking of ring, that's my ring going off. <laughs> and hit those subscribe bells, uh, notification bells. In my book, I say hit all the damn buttons, all right? So let's get into the video. Let's go. Okay, guys, let's uh, get this open. So this is how it comes in package. All right, very simple. And I believe it comes in three pieces. Again, I have the Ring Pro version. So each wedge is uh, designed for whatever particular ring you may have. So when ordering this, make sure you get the right model for your ring setup. And it's a very simple uh, concept. All right, just in this case, they give you three wedges and as you can see each of them has a different degree of pitch so depending on how much pitch you need to adjust for your ring system you can overlap these give you increased wedge i guess capability to point it downward so what i'm going to do i'm going to start off mine with probably two wedges being that my steps goes in at an angle downward so that's what i'm going to look to to do and it's again it's just simple plastic uh, nothing pretty much they give you long screws all right so if you need to long screws to install it they do give you that and 
as you can see this is pretty much how it looks again demonstrating that sight and as it pitches you need it for it and again when I first installed it I never thought about that at the time this this product wasn't you know was no such thing of it but I see that they came out and again it's all stackable and again here's a I'll take a screenshot very simple to do um, very simple to install so I'm gonna take you out for again this is for your DIYers you guys want just a little information uh, eye candy on seeing how this product uh, operates and works install and this is what this information is about so let's stand by let's go out to the front of the house let me set up the camera and let's just get this installed and show you guys how the before and after of this all right so stand by okay before we get started and go outside now what I have again I have the ring video pro again I bought this many years when it first came out it was a, actually it was a gift to me for my girls and so I hope if you still have this box you're gonna have to find it because you're gonna need a, a tool to take off your faceplate now early on when they came out the ring they gave you different color face plates to match your siding as you can see I got a different siding colors which I might change mine since I'm doing this but you're gonna need this tool here all right this little uh, hex tool that removes the screw from the bottom of the plate from outside there's a little screw here that you're gonna have to use this screw to take this plate off so you'll be able to take off the ring off the house so make sure you uh, I hope you kept this if not, I'll put down the part number if I can locate this part if you need it or this this uh, this size bit. But this is what you're gonna need. So let's go out to the in front of the house and let me show you how to take it apart and get this thing these wedges installed. All right. Okay, guys. Let me get with this. Now I hope this it's very windy out here, so and very cold. So again, there's a screw under here. I'm gonna have to unscrew or oh, untighten. Unscrew, untighten it. You know, you get it, my dry. And be careful not to lose that screw because you're gonna need it. And this faceplate should just pop right off like such. All right, exposing the two screws that we have to remove. Okay, now we're gonna have to just simply move two screw screws above and below. And one below. Oh, guys, it's, it's freezing. It's about, feels like 17 degrees. Now in doing that, all we're gonna do is just lift back, lift this out. Don't want to pull it because I don't want to break any things. Kind of. Why is this not coming through? All right, stand by. I gotta see why is this not coming out. I probably have to get some slack from inside the, the house. So stand by. Let me get that done. Okay, guys. I just want to show you. At least in my um, setup, on why I couldn't pull that out. When your doorbell is installed, it's by a little wire. You got to make sure you leave enough slack when it comes from where your panel, where it's coming from, to your doorbell. All right, make sure you leave enough slack so if you have to pull it out, uh, stopping this wire for moving freely. What happened is that this wire was pinched around a couple of wires here wouldn't, and wouldn't allow it to move freely. So I got it all unpinched. So now I can pull off my doorbell, all right, from the other side, unscrew it and reattach it. So just re remember, just leave enough slack. So if you ever have to take it off, you have enough wire that you can pull it out. So I just want to bring that to you. I hope that makes sense to you. All right, I'm glad I'm doing this while the walls are down. Again, just a little bit more information for you guys out there. 
uh, when you're troubleshooting or trying to figure out how the, your system is working, all right? So let's go back outside, and guys, it is freezing. Freezing out here. So I'm trying to get this done quickly because I'm freezing my freaking nuts off here. And as you can see now, I can pull this out. All right, so just need enough wire, and when you're done, then you slip it back in. So let me get my screwdriver, and what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take this off. Just make sure you take a mental note on how your wires are set up, because you wanna put it back the same way. I don't think it really matters, but if it's working a certain way, just put it back together in the same, same format, all right? So stand by, let me get my screwdriver so I'm gonna unscrew this. Okay, we're gonna continue on now, all right? I suggest to have a little level. When you put your screws in, you're gonna put it in these two slots here, right here and right here, giving you the flexibility to adjust it up and down. Right now, how it looks is pretty much good for where I need it to be. I'm gonna go and get my screwdriver, uh, my drill, so I can put the new screws in these two locations. And um, if you're gonna use two or more, excuse, if you're gonna use two or more wedges, you have to use the, the longer screws they provide. So what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna start on the bottom here. Okay, there we go. And what I'm gonna do before I put the other one on, I'm gonna check my, my level, make sure it didn't shift when I put that first one in. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I'm gonna put the next one in. There you go. And that's that. Now this is paintable, so if you want to come back and paint it, match it your, your house, you can do that. Okay, and now we're just gonna reattach everything, put everything back together. Okay, once you got this, everything back hooked up, all you're gonna do is gonna fish your wires back in. And the screws that you took off, you can use, or you can use the ones they gave you. But I would just use the ones that you took off and usually installed. You're gonna put that on top right here. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's all installed. Now, in my situation, I end up using all three wedges. You see how I got extreme, not extreme, but a, a serious pitch. And that's only regards to my stairs. All right, I wanted to really focus on the pitch of my stairs, people approaching, so I get a good view of them. And I'm able to see now my front stairs area right here. As before, originally, I couldn't see any of this at all. So that's the wedge system. That's how it's installed, that's how it looks. I may come back and paint it so it blends better with the siding. But other than that, I like how it looks. So guys, that's a quick look at it. Quick how-to, very easy to install. The most difficult part of doing this is doing it when it's zero below. <laughs> All right. But other than that, guys, please consider like, subscribe. If you're interested in this type of product, please check out the affiliate links. And I'll just catch you on the next one. All right. Back to work on the great room. So let's go.